us of YouTube. Today we're gonna be doing a do I want it, do I not, cop or drop. So grab your makeup brushes, get comfortable, get cozy. Go ahead on over to trim mood and let's go. Okay you guys, so y'all already know the drill. We're going to be doing a cop or drop. Is it hot or is it not? Okay, so we're gonna go straight to trim mood. If you guys don't know, I say this in every video that I do like this. Go to trim mood if you wanna know about the new makeup. Period. That's just where it's at. It's got everything. They let you know about everything that's dropping. Like, they don't ever miss. Like, I don't think... I don't even know how they know. I don't know. Okay, so we knew Becca Cosmetics was, like, going out of business, right? But it looks like they're doing a collab with Smashbox. And it is a shimmering skin perfecter pressed highlighter. An under eye brightener corrector. And it's going to be available in October and it says while we are saying goodbye to becca cosmetics they are announced that they found a forever new home what do they need forever new home like what with smashbox are they coming together like what is this so i guess <laughs> smashbox and becca are like gonna work together but to be honest like i feel like with becca like yeah it was sad that they were kind of like going away but i feel like all they ever kind of do come out with is highlighters like that was their peak and like then they kind of just really rolled that way like they didn't never chill with the highlighters like i really love champagne pop i love opal like those are some of my favorite highlighters but i feel like now like they just continue to put out highlighters like the last product that they dropped before they fully went away was a highlighter and now y'all coming out with another pressed shimmering highlighter and like it's just like i don't know i think i'm cool on it i mean it's I guess they're not going away so <laughs> now we're getting in the holiday makeup and I am so excited you guys like my birthday is literally in eight days shout out to my Libra gang but um yeah I love like this time of the year the colors the vibe like it's just it's everything to me so it looks like your girl Pat is coming out with a holiday collection and they've got an eyeshadow palette they got a Divine Blush and Glow Trio. They have little quads, I guess. Um, a highlighter, a luxe lip balm, <laughs> and luxury sets. I don't know, it's a lot of stuff to be honest. But for the eyeshadow palette, like the colors are pretty, but I don't really think that it's something that just grabs my attention that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this palette. I'm pretty sure like quality, is like up there but as far as like colors like all these shimmers and stuff i just feel like mm, like it's nice you could get like some looks out of it and stuff like if you don't have these colors in your collection and you really like pat mcgrath you want to try out her products or you want to see what this holiday collection is all about that's a good idea but it's not really screaming holiday to me like there's not really too many holiday shades in here i mean it is colorful but it's just not screaming holiday and then there's these little trios there's highlights there's more i guess eyeshadow palettes i don't know i just kind of feel like it's like overdone i hate whenever collections come out and they come out with so much stuff i feel like when you keep it more simple it's more easy than like being overloaded with so much makeup like lip products blushes like duos trios quads this and that like it's just like oh, take a deep breath take a deep breath like it's just too much so I don't know it's just i don't think it's something i would get the swatches look pretty though they look like very like i know with pat mcgrath stuff it's like not just like a regular shimmer it's like a product that's super super shimmery and like changes it shifts i guess like it's a hue i don't know how you say it but the swatches look really pretty to be honest i feel like whenever i see her swatches then i'm like done with that you know what i'm saying like it's cute but i don't know you know what it's cute it's just it's too much for me like i don't know i feel like maybe the last palette she came out with like the hutopian one I feel like that's cool because these swatches here kind of look similar to that so now it looks like we have the infinite chrome flakes by uh dessa myricks now this when i seen this i was like oh, okay like i love a topper that you could put on top of your eyeshadow to like amp it up to that next level and this is literally that like i love those pinks like literally this like one in the middle the shooting star one if i put that on top of my lid right now it will bring this look there i used to do that all the time um 
with this product that I got from a beauty supply a long time ago and like I don't remember what it was or what it's called or where like the beauty supply I got it from was but I loved it like I used the mess out of it and it like shifted and I feel like that is what this is like it's like that chunky like glitter but it's not glitter it's probably super like oil based so it like slicks right on but this is stunning like it brings your look there like this is so pretty I would use most likely every single one of these it's super easy to play with color when you have a product like this because you can't go wrong like you know it's gonna look good so i feel like i would definitely cop that i don't know how much they are but it's coming out september 19th you can wear them as a topper or on their own they're hyper metallic and foiled effect which i definitely see like in the pictures that's what it looks like okay so it also looks like charlotte Hill, Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a early holiday collection as well. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this looks boring. Like, and I feel like they're overpriced. So it's just, it's a no for me. Like, the shades look boring. It's just a no for me. Like, the lip products look boring. It's just, it's boring. Like, a lot of the reds look the same, and then it's like this mauve colors, and it's just like, I know it's gonna be pricey because it's Charlotte Tilbury, so. I just feel like that's a pass for me. And they are coming out with these holiday collections very early. Like, at first I was like, okay, Pat McGrath, but now I'm starting to see another holiday one. And it's just September, which I get, but like, the reds and stuff, like, can we wait? Cause then what are y'all gonna do when it's that time? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. So I was sitting here looking for the longest to figure out what brand this was because this doesn't look like ColourPop, to be honest, but this is ColourPop. So this is the, the plush like me collection it's a 90s inspired collection and it has eyeshadow which the eyeshadow palette swatches i'm not gonna lie look pretty like some of the shimmers and like the mattes and stuff like that definitely kind of is like a 90s palette i feel like because those colors the color story is giving that like i like the palette um i guess these are blush sticks so depending on the formula depends on if i would really like you know rock with the blush sticks like that i haven't ever tried them from ColourPop, but i do like you know blushes that kind of have that like do give your skin that do so i mean they look pretty they look like they would go pretty with like any looks you would create they have the Lux blur lipsticks and lippy pencils so let me get a look okay the colors are kind of like and eh. like for the lip and lippy pencils like they're kind of like just like I don't know it's a lot so I feel like if anything the eyeshadow palette's cute you know that's probably it the blush sticks do look good I'm not I'm gonna give them that the blush sticks and the eyeshadow palette is probably like the only thing I would get from that I just feel like brands are coming out with a lot of stuff because if you look oh there's a highlighter too which is pretty but they do have a lot of highlighters already but if you look, there's so many lipsticks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lipsticks. Like y'all could have came out with like three, a duo, maybe do like a lipstick with a lip liner, like a duo. Like everybody loves duos, you know what I'm saying? Where you get a lip liner with it because it just makes it that much easier to use the colors. You know what I'm saying? But this is just kind of like a lot of colors. Like the last two look pretty similar. A lot of these like peachy mauve tones, like it could have just been simplified, but Okay, so there's another collection by Morphe, which is a collab with Ashley Strong. And I guess it includes a palette, a lip duo, um, a cake lip liner. Now, the palette is giving dark. So if you're that kind of girl, like if you like dark colors, like these dark greens, the blacks, the blues, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's not really that much of a playful side to this palette. Like, even with the yellows, it's not super playful. Like, this is giving, like, a dark kind of palette, which doesn't look that fun to me. I don't know what these words are on the inside. You know, maybe they're trying to, like, give something new. Like, because this definitely looks different than any Morphe collab palette setup that I've seen. But, I don't know. For one, like, I don't really like Morphe's eyeshadows too, too much. Like, they're nice, but it just depends. Like, it's hit or miss with palettes, so 
I don't think this will be something I'll pick up. And also just because I don't do greens and blues on my eyes. If I'm being realistic with myself on stuff that I'm going to use, I might as well just stay away from palettes that I know have colors in them that I'm not going to use because I don't put green on my eyes. Like, no shade, but it's just like I just don't. So, it would be a waste. Now, I've seen some controversy because I've seen Babes Beauty post this Gucci Beauty eyeshadow palette. And she was like, you know, here's her affiliate link and... Um, if you guys want to cop it, whatever, but what do y'all think about the price tag? Now, this eyeshadow palette is $150. And it's just like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, the packaging is cute. Like, it looks luxe. Like, you have to give it that. It looks like it's expensive because it ought to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's boring. Like, the blue, it's just, it's throwing me off. Like, it's not something that I would want to buy and especially for 150 I don't know who is spending money like that for some eyeshadows like there's such good drugstore quality eyeshadow palettes like there's no reason to spend 150 on an eyeshadow palette like at all and I think my favorite girl look like who's out here spending 150 on an eyeshadow palette oh no oh no mm -mm. so yeah that's just a pass for me just because price point wise and like Color story wise, and like the packaging, yeah, it looks looks. That doesn't mean that it looks cute. It kind of is giving grandma vibes. Like, it looks like these flowers with this black background. It looks like somebody just passed. Like, it's giving grandma dark vibes. Ooh, okay. I didn't know what, what this was at first, but it looks like Juvia's place is coming out with Juvia's skin. So they're gonna be coming out with skincare, and they have like nice cinnamide serum, hyaluronic. Hyaluronic Glow Serum and just a bunch of different stuff. The After Glow Serum, there's Vitamin C Serum, Treatment Pads, Peptide and Ceramide Cream, and just like a bunch of stuff. I know those are a lot of good products also. It's cruelty-free, cruelty -free, vegan, and clean, and good for your skin and for the earth. So a lot of these do look good. It does seem like a lot of serums. Like it doesn't seem like Oh, okay. So they do have a Let's Melt It Off cleansing balm. And they have a Let's Melt It Off gel cleanser. And a toner. But I mean, honestly, I feel like it is a lot of serums though. Because once you get further down, it's like serum, 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 cream. Like, you know, but it's cool. I would definitely be interested to see people's reviews on that. And see, like, what it's hidden for. Because I'm always here for skincare. So... So, Olimar Cosmetics is coming out with a liquid to powder, sun soaked, high shine highlighter. And honestly, the only reason why I would seem intrigued with this is the fact that it's a liquid to powder. It does come in three shades. And let me see. I'm pretty sure it's not super, super crazy, crazy blinding because we're not, people don't really do make their highlighters like that anymore. I'm pretty sure it does have a nice glow to it, but I don't think it's gonna be anything like super crazy. But I would be interested to see the formula and how it works on the skin or like how it, you know, makes texture look. Guys, there is a lot of makeup coming out. It is crazy, okay? So it looks like a Beauty Blender is coming out with a bounce skin tint, always on radiant, always on radiant skin tint. And it's supposed to be buildable, long wear, natural radiant finish, medium coverage, and you know, all this about serum and skin benefits. But I don't know, because I remember people saying that the, I think it was the concealer and the other foundation they had that like you can pump and it falls into like a little thing like this and you use it, it was kind of like unsanitary, people were saying. And they said the formula wasn't that great and it's like nobody really ever talked about it. And I don't know. I just feel like, and they, I feel like they're really late on those slow skin tint wave because yes, people are still wearing skin tints, of course, like I'm still wearing skin tints and everything like that. But I just feel like, okay, Beauty Blender, where were y'all? For a skin tint, I feel like the shade range is actually kind of good because you gotta think skin tints are kind of a little bit more lighter coverage. So when you blend them out, they kind of blend more into your skin. I feel like this is a pretty shade range for like a skin tint, it's not a foundation, so. They have like medium tan and then deep. So I think it's okay. It's okay. Also, supposedly Kylie Jenner is supposed to be coming out with a brand called Kylie Baby, which I don't know. It's supposed to be 
a baby line for products for skin, hair, strollers, cribs, vitamins, diapers, and more. And they said info might change, so I don't think they know exactly everything on this yet. But like I saw a lot of people say, Kylie's skincare for adults isn't even that great. So why would she be coming out with baby skincare products? Like girl, I don't know, I feel like she just be pushing it. Like everything is a cash grab. So, I mean, yeah, it's cool. Like, I just don't see who's about to be out here buying strollers with Kylie Baby on them. Like, I just don't really see it. Like, diapers, like, girl, everyone knows where to go get diapers from. Like, we're not about to be ordering from your your diapers. You know what I'm saying? Vitamins and stuff. Like, does she really know? I don't know if they just be coming out with stuff and just putting it out or do they really like look into what they're doing like do you know what you're putting in the vitamins for the baby or are you just dropping it like i just need to know that because everything seems to be a cash grab because she's just dropping a, a kylie swim and it's just like girl get your get your bag but like i don't know i just know what the swimsuit's about to be hella pricey and it's just like we're cool and i get like you know people are saying like why is she coming out with a swimsuit line you know mid fall but or like in the in fall but people were saying you know people go on vacation so i get that i'm not really driving her for that part but just the fact that it's just like okay kylie swim now you're trying to come out with kylie baby like i don't know it's a little bit much so i'm seeing another holiday collection and it says it's almost time for the holiday season nars is coming out with a <laughs> unwrapped orgasm blush duo set and a lip lip balm set and an unwrapped mini eyeshadow set and all this i don't know i feel like they use nars orgasm blush for everything like if there's nothing else nars is gonna do is they're gonna put orgasm in something like period they do that with everything they just change it up or something but it's always that like i love nars i think nars has great products from their bronzers to their foundations to like you know i really did like orgasm blush but it's just like i don't know it's just like they're always doing that like every holiday set has that in there which i get that stuff that people like but i don't know the eyeshadow palette looks cute but it's really just boring like if you have these colors already there's no need i know people do like palettes that have just a few shades in them for like travel and stuff to make it easier to like just have your shades and your makeup and stuff which i get so if you're planning on doing like just like a pink glittery look or like pink and gold then it's cool but i don't see the need for it at all to be honest it's just a bunch of products for gift sets, I guess. Like, it's not nothing crazy. And y'all know every single time, they don't miss on doing some type of Disney-related collection. So, Sigma is doing a Cinderella collection, which I know they did drop a Cinderella movie, so I guess that's probably why they're doing it. But they got that Cinderella eyeshadow palette. They have a cheek duo. They have five brushes. They have lip gloss. And yeah, I think that's it. The brushes look okay. I know Sigma has good brushes, so that kind of makes sense. Like Sigma does brushes, so they would do brushes. And to be honest, they don't look bad. It's not like they look like just they threw some brushes out. I feel like these would be good face brushes. The lip glosses, I will probably pass on. Um, but let me see this. The duo was also cute. I really like Corley blushes, but I already have a lot of blushes that color, so I wouldn't get that. And then the eyeshadow palette, I feel like they kind of are spot on with it. Like they have the little, you know, decorations in the inside of it. And they have like a really pretty blue, a shimmer, like the oranges are pretty. I feel like they kind of got Cinderella in a, in a palette. I'm not saying I would get it, but I feel like they did kind of nail it a little bit. They kind of got everything that you would need. They didn't overdo it with doing like blushes and then like 18 lipsticks and then like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's cute. But I wouldn't get it just for the fact like it's repetitive makeup and it is just collector's makeup at this point. Like if you like Cinderella, you are a fan of Cinderella, you want to get Cinderella makeup, then you do that. But I don't know. It's just a lot of repetitive makeup. Okay, I'm only going to do like a few more. So I did already see this though. Nikki Tutorials dropped that she was coming out with skincare. I don't know how you pronounce the name of this, but I think it's a cream moisturizer slash primer a glow serum a setting spray and a fan i think yeah so i mean it's it's cool i feel like nikki tutorials is hasn't came out with anything that wasn't a collaboration so this is her first actual brand 
I feel like she probably did put a lot of like thought into what she was gonna come out with. I don't feel like she's just like, let me cash grab. Cause she, if that was the case, she would have cash grabbed years ago and just came out with the brand and like threw her name onto my eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like she like took her time with it. I do like that it's like a moisturizer slash primer because I'm the type of person, I will use just moisturizer as a primer. So the fact that it's a moisturizer and a primer, so you're kind of knocking two steps out in one because you can use your skincare as a prep for makeup. So I feel like that's kind of like, a good product and also i like that i mean her pricing isn't just through the roof like she could be like okay i'm making tutorials i have all these subscribers and followers and i'm gonna drop a 50 dollar serum you know what i'm saying and some people are gonna buy it some people will probably get on her but at the end of the day she's making tutorials so she could have but the fact that like it's 22 dollars and you know what i'm saying or it's like 30 25 you know what i'm saying like it's not terrible that's like prices you would see at Sephora for like a brand so I don't think that's bad and then the last one I'm gonna do which we've like seen I'm pretty sure I've seen all this before but um Fenty came out with new shades in their gloss bomb heat which those colors look really pretty they first came out with just a red one which I didn't get because for one I don't really like products that are for plumping because they make your lips tingle and hot and everything and it's just like I don't know I don't really be feeling like I need it. Like I like the cream one, the gloss one, I'm all here for it, but I don't know. But the colors do look so pretty. Like they just always look so like juicy and pretty. Like every time I see any of her glosses, no matter if it's heat, cream, whatever, like they all look good. But for the eyeshadow palette, like I don't know, I feel like she came out with the snapshot palettes and she came out with so many of them. And not only were they not my favorite, like they're good. I just used one of them the other day, but I just feel like these colors are very, very neutral. And she has like two or three palettes that were like in the mini ones that were like super neutral. So if you have a few of those, you have one of them that's like neutral. If you have number one, which I do, this kind of looks like that, just like an extended version. So <clears throat> I don't know. I also felt like Fenty thrives with skin, like better complexion. I feel like I like their foundations, like their powders, like that kind of thing more. Their bronzers, like cream, everything is like more top tier to me then their eyeshadow and yeah they also came out with a like triple diamond veil thing which i've seen on her instagram she posted and like it looks really really nice like i'm not gonna lie everybody's looking been looking real glowy real dewy so i think that's pretty at first i was kind of like no but i think everything is supposed to go with like her colors of the lipsticks like i think that's what this is because i think the name of them yeah so like all the glows are like fuzzy, fancy glow, hot chocolate. Like those are the colors of the highlighters, but they look really pretty. They look like wet on the swatches. So that's why I feel like I like them more. When you see them on the skin, they look like really, really glowy. So I feel like that I would like because it's complexion, but the eyeshadows would pass. The lip glosses are pretty. So I feel like I would get those. And one more, I'm gonna do my boy Patrick. So he came out with a Preserve the Serve setting spray and then a Until Dawn setting spray. So one of them is for glowy, dewy, hydrating the skin before, after makeup or in between makeup. And then the other one is more of a like matte to like secure your makeup. So I would definitely probably get the Preserve the Serve because I don't like putting stuff on that's gonna be super, super like matte or make my face feel like drier or anything like that because I already have dry skin. So preserve the serve probably be the one i do like he like really went in with like marketing for this like he put a video up of like him talking to himself and doing all this and like it was five minutes but you could tell he put a lot of effort and work into the video so i feel like it would be nice and then even this girl's skin on here looks really good like i'm not sure which one she's using but i feel like patrick's products are really good with like attacking your texture and like stuff like that it's just like his products are really like seamless if that makes sense so I feel like this would be a really good product.